You said over the radio after Kyle took the checkered fan flag, there's no one I would rather have in that position than you. What has he meant to the organization? Well, he's helped us all around. Number one, he's winning races, showing we can win races. He's helped Austin a whole lot. Austin's had some really good runs. He drove up to about 10th to the two car wrecked him in there on purpose, uh, sort of a payback. But, uh, you know, I, he's Kyle has been uh, really, I mean, he's such a you know, pleasure to work with. You know, everybody said, man, how y'all going to get along? Same question they asked me about. You and Dale won't last six months. We lasted 20 years. I want to keep Kyle there, and hopefully we can end his career when he gets ready to. And was there any concern with your organization with brake rotors when, you know, it started to kind of creep in there with a few of the cars? I think we had four broken rotors today. Uh, excuse me. Was that – you're talking about breaking rotors? Yeah, the brake rotors were breaking, and that's – there were four broken rotors today, and, you know, were, was there any concern among the RCR cars? Thank yeah, you. I was really concerned on the three because he's really hard on the brakes. Kyle didn't seem to use it that much, and Austin quit using his a whole lot there at the end. And uh, it was uh, – these long straightaways, they have so much time to cool off, and then you get them so hot in the corner – here comes Randall Burnett, the winning crew chief from local boy from right here in Missouri, St. Louis. But I hope that answered your question. Well, thank you for that introduction. I do not need to introduce you. <laughs> we are now also joined by Randall Burnett, our race winning crew chief. Um, we will go back to questions. We'll go to Daniel McFadden. In the middle. Can we get a microphone to Daniel McFadden? Daniel McFadden, uh, Democrat Gazette. Uh, Mr. Childress, three wins in the first 15 races of the season. When, from your perspective, when was the last time it felt like RCR was this dangerous to, to be a winner on such a regular basis? You know, we, we won a lot with Harvick, won a lot with Earnhardt. Uh, you know, where our plans is to win a lot with Kyle and – you know, not only be a contender for that championship, if we make the final four, we'll have a shot of winning it for sure. We'll go next to Bob Pockris. Bob Pockris, Fox Sports, one for each. Uh, Richard, was that the – I know it's been a short time, but is that the best race that you've seen Kyle drive for you? You know, I – anytime he gets in the car, I think he drives a really great race. Uh, you know, we've – anytime we can give him a car capable of winning – He's going to win with it, and I think he just did a great job today. Those last three or four or however many it was restarts, you know, I felt they were pretty tough, but I knew he would be able to do his job. And uh, for Randall, kind of following up on what Lee asked Richard on the brake rotors, uh, did you have any concerns, and is it uh, just something that, you know, red flags and not a lot of data on this track makes that – well, I think uh, I think people probably came back. We I think teams last year came back a little, came here a little more conservative uh, last year, not knowing. And I think we all took data from that and went home and looked. And you know, we get we get options on heavy duty rotors or light duty rotors, so we can we can kind of choose that. And we obviously choose how much cooling we run to them. And um, you know, like like Richard said, it's it's a it's kind of a tough place because the straightaways are so long and you're off the brakes for such a long time, and then it's uh, you're you apply them really hard at the end of the straightaway. So the, the cycles of getting really cool down the straightaways and then, then really spiking up the heat, it, it takes a toll on the rotors. So, um, you know, when you're – we were fortunate enough with the with the eight car, you know, we were, we were kind of in the top five most all day long. And um, when you get back further a little bit in the pack too and, and have to work your rotors harder, um, using brakes, racing people a lot harder, um, you know, those things happen. So I'm sure uh, everybody will take a look at that and, and try to understand what happened with those cars. We're going to go next to the middle to Justin okay. Schuler. Okay. Justin Schuler kicking the tires. Congratulations uh, to both of you. Um, Richard, uh, 12 years ago, this was the day when you and Kyle um, got into the physical altercation. Um, just kind of talk a little bit about how you've seen him grow and mature, um, kind of evolve in the sport and now racing for you and putting you uh, as probably one of the top teams to uh, be the threat for the championship this year? 
Yeah, uh, we put that totally behind us. Uh, we talked about it. That was one of the first things we talked about, and that's history. We've both uh, grown a lot. I know I've grown up. I've grown older, but I've grown up, too. There's an old song out there. Uh, uh, I'm still, uh, still growing up, but I'm getting older. Any additional questions? Okay, we'll go over here. Uh, this one's for Randall. Winning in your home track here in St. Louis, uh, you know, you being a St. Louisan, do you have any initial memories of being here at Gateway? Like, were you here in 1997, and were any uh, the tremendous improvements that Gateway has made in the last many years to have this cup race here? Yeah, you know, I was here. Um, I was still in St. Louis, living living here when this place it, it used to be a road course here, uh, and it was part part of the drag strip was the road course, and um, I actually raced carts on that track. Um, you know, a handful of times, and then they built they built this place, and I'd come watch the Indy cars when they would come, any events they would come here. Um, so we always came over for that when I was a kid, and uh, was fortunate enough to run some shifter carts here on on this track through the road course on the infield, and then and, and part of the big track. So uh, it, it means a lot to me to come home. You know, I, I moved away from here when I was about 20 years old, and uh, moved to Charlotte to to do what I'm doing right to to go race and and i did some driving down there and and grew up racing go-karts here um you know with my mom and my dad and um off telegraph road at, at Woodman raceway park that um you know the st louis karting association my father and and some of them built down there for for us to have a place to even go race so uh to, to come home and and win here uh it, it means a lot it's, it's a pretty big deal for me any additional questions okay we'll go back to lee Tyler, uh, or, sorry, I'll be all right. I've got something else on my mind. Randall, can you look at just the first, what, 14, 15 races and have an idea or a sense what the potential is for this team? Well, I think we've got a lot of potential. I think we've got a lot to clean up, too, and we talk about it repeatedly. We've, we've – uh, <laughs> We've had some really fast cars and taken ourselves out of races, you know, with, with some mistakes and things like that. And me and Kyle and, and our whole group has talked about it. And, and we know we all got to clean it up on our end, especially if we're going to compete for the championship. You know, we we are fast with this uh, intermediate package. Um, we've we've struggled really bad on the short tracks. Uh, haven't got the feel for him of, of what he needs in a car on a short track yet. So that's one of our one of our biggest hindrances right now, I would say, as a team to, to – be where we really want to be, um, but really proud of this this eight bunch. They dig in hard. Great group of guys. Great great group of racers. And and Kyle's fit right in with them. He's uh, he's done a great job of adapting over here and and blown plenty of uh, you know plenty of insight on his side to to how to make things better as well. So that's we're all working together towards that. Questions. All right, gentlemen. Thanks so much and congratulations. I'll say one other thing. Chevy has really supported us a lot, and I don't think we could do what we do today without all the support. All the manufacturers support the teams, but I feel that Chevrolet gets behind us stronger than anybody else, all of the three uh, key partners. Thank you all.